Morning guys, you got me in a rare moment where I'm sitting down and, and having breakfast. I don't know if you can see outside, but it's absolutely horrendous. I am just having some overnight oats and a, and a coffee. I've had to listen to my body today because we, we trained last night. I, I am so sore, my body is so sore, my back, my hips, my legs. And it's not necessarily from the contact, from whacking each other, because we don't do that much of it um, over the course of the week. We might have one day where we do it. And it's different kind of movements, running on different surfaces, um, just moving in different ways. It's, it's new stimulus for your body. And when you've been doing it for a long time, you just acclimatise to it and get used to it. But this is why when people go to the gym for the first time, they're an absolute bit very similar thing to that uh, but it's just a different form of stimulus so i'm just having to listen to my body and take it easy with training and with just stretching myself to the thing because i need to be able to recover yeah I, I, as we get older they think that they can't train as hard and that's not true but what is what it does change is your ability to recover properly that's what we've got to to maximize so just flogging yourself into the ground into the ground into the ground it ends up having a negative impact so you just got to be able to to know when you need to rest even though you might want to keep pushing on we've got to be able to know when to rest so i'm going to do this today i've got a meeting with chris who's our head of performance we're going over systems reviewing things our job is to try and get people a result as quickly as possible as easily as possible and just to keep reviewing that and make sure everything is working we're doing everything we need to, to, to give the guys everything they need. I've got piano lesson, I'm gonna call in and see my nan, and then I've got the kids this evening. So still a pretty full on day, but I've, I've, I have taken a few things out of it. So. Finished up with uh, what's ended up being nearly a three hour meeting with Chris. I come in as our head of performance, he's taken over from Joel, not my Joel, another Joel. We've just got a different idea of where we wanna take things. So we've been going over what's been working, what's not working, what we like, and even though it's my business, I want what's best for my clients. And my job is to get them a result as quickly as possible, as easy as possible, with as little hassle as possible. And there's always more efficient ways to do things and, and other people have different views. And something that's always stuck with me is that feedback is the breakfast of champions. And if you wanna get better, you've got to ask for feedback and you've got to be willing to take it on board. There's always better ways to do things. And I'm more than happy to make changes and I don't let my ego get in the way. I've got a lot better at it. I used to, uh, just making some changes. So we've got, it's been really productive. We've got a good list. We've got actionables, things that we need to get done when we need to get them done by. Cause it's all well and good having good ideas if you don't have a, a deadline for them. So we've got things to do, deadlines, uh, and we can get on it. I've just pulled up at my nan's now. So come on, I'll take you to see my nan. I'm here at my nan's. She's watching, she's watching, you know, say hello, nan. Oh. Oh, is it? It's, it's just for you. It's for YouTube. It's just a video. It's nobody there. Uh, oh, <laughs> but you can say hello. Oh. <laughs> are you are you okay? Well, I'm still not. She's not been well. No, She's not been no, well. No, She's. Oh. Yeah. In fact, it's... you look a lot better than you yeah, did last week. Yeah, I feel week. a bit better, but I've still no taste. Come Some on. would argue that you never did have any taste. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm truthfully. Who's been telling me about all the stories when she worked at Batley Variety Club, which is a club that uh, they used to have loads of acts on, and my nan used to work there behind the bar, and they'd have people like Roy Orbison, Gene Pitney, Bassey, like old school big hitters, and my nan's just been reeling off a load of stories. In good spirits, a lot better uh, after I left. And how was everybody's day at school, Taylor? How was your day at school? Fine. Fine. Yeah. How was your day at school, Fletch? Um, right. How do you feel about your dad being a YouTuber? I hate him. I'm a dead famous YouTuber now. You should bet you don't even have five subscribers. Millions coming. I'll have millions soon. Have you seen that clip? No. That's Scouser. What is it? It's why I'm laughing for. I'm being serious, I'm being serious, Chris, what are you laughing for? I'm being serious. What are you laughing for? Where's the Irish fudge? I don't know, I have completely changed accents. Chicken in a Scouse accent. Chachen. Fletch used to say, instead of saying chicken, I'd say chachen. Chachen. Fletch, I think we're going to have shepherd's pie for tea tonight. No. No, actually. Chicken and a can of coke. Chicken and a can of coke. I'd actually be happy with that. I'd happy. I'd be happy with that than shepherd's pie. Why? Because I don't like shepherd's pie. It's horrible. 
long term. But we'll see what else we can do for you. This is the eternal struggle. Fletcher only wants to eat beige food. No pizza in the Taylor's happy to eat vegetables, happy to eat good qual, chop loco. Fletcher just wants to eat beige. I'm not fat though, am I? Food is not just about calories and being fat or thin. It's about your health. The impact that that has on you, you're a growing boy. You need to be having vitamins and minerals for everything, for your general wellness, health, growth, everything. I went into coach mode. I did go into coach mode. So guys, you need to be eating. 2,500 calories a day. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need that. I don't need that. Thank you. Why are you, do, why are you doing this? <laughs> you go, Come on, guys. I don't, I don't do this. You have to chase your goals. You do chase your goals. I do that. And then you go, and then you do that. You have to chase the goals that you want to get the results. I, I talk with my hands. Ultimately. I, I talk with my hands, and I do say ultimately quite a lot. Thank you, children. Come on, ultimately, guys, ultimately, ultimately. <laughs> That's enough of that, thank you. Show me some respect. Oh, don't make fun, I do this a lot as well. With my like don't, don't, <laughs> don't make fun of your dad. Ultimately. Show respect. Show because respect ultimately, he's the guy that who, who keeps a roof over you. Mum keeps a roof over her. I don't do this <laughs> like I am putting a hat on lots of people. Um, shepherd's pie. When I do the mash, I always leave the skin on because that's where all the flavour is. Saves time, loads of flavour. There's a little bit of butter in there, garlic as well. Always good in mashed potato. And if you want really creamy mash, a little tip for you. I learned this off Andy Peters randomly. ITV and children's TV fame. Potato over a, a low heat and you make it a lot creamier than you would do if you just mash it off the hob. It was in the oven for a little bit just to crisp up. And then till bread it, I just done Fletcher a pizza because I can't be bothered with the aggro of him not eating his food. Fletcher, can you clarify that you don't eat pizza all the time? I definitely do not. How's tea, guys? Very good. Fletcher's dressed ready for all uh, training. What kit have you got on? PSG. PSG. Taylor is not changed. We always try to sit and have, we try to have meals together, don't we? It's our thing. Mm. We've always done it. Dinner time done. Feeding Fen now. And then uh, I've got some calls to do uh, before we take Fletcher to training. Busy day Wednesdays. Heads, good morning. Is early. 10 to 7. Currently making pancakes for the kids. Years and years ago. On the off chance, I just said that I asked the kids if they wanted pancakes for breakfast. They said yes. I've been making them ever since. At the school room, we're away in an hour, and then I'm heading down to London. With Joe, we've got some Christmas show that he wanted to go to. It's not really my jam, but he wants to do it. And it's nice to spend some time together. I'm not going to see him for a week then. So really looking forward to, to seeing him and spending some time with him. The day ahead, so best get on with these pancakes. Taking some food with me so I know what I'm eating. Breakfast is done, all tidied up. I'm gonna do a little bit of work. Dog's fed, kids are fed. And then, yeah, we're away. There's Thursday mornings for you. Tell me you're looking very nice this like morning. Egg. You look like a lot. Egg. <laughs> Always have, what do we have on? Radio 2, and they do a quiz. So we're gonna do the quiz with you. It's only five questions, don't worry. B-roll, B-roll, do up and up. Taylor's just been telling me about someone at school called Nicole, and one of our things is we have, there's a meme and there's a girl, a girl who introduced all the videos and she went, Hey guys, it's Nicole. Hey guys, it's Nicole. Hey guys, it's Nicole. Hey guys, it's Nicole. And that's the thing. This song was out when I was in primary school. It's old. It's not that old. Very busy this morning, guys. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. It's Bizarre. Life is busy. Yeah. You ready to quiz? You ready to quiz, guys? Five out of five incoming. Okay, question one. Who wrote the book Matilda? Of which the new music. Fletcher, who wrote it? Killer, who wrote it? Roll down. Yeah. Question number two. What time will it be raining men, according to the weather girls? <laughs> Just about half past ten For the first time You want me to do a full rendition? In his story It's gonna start raining Hey, hey, hey 
Question number three. Uh, Portugal played Ghana this afternoon in the World Cup, but what colour is the star in the middle of the Ghana flag? Oh, yellow. yellow. Oh, I'm you don't say the Ghana flag, you say the Ghanaian flag. That's bad England. Senegal have similar colours. In which month does winter officially start in the Northern Hemisphere? December. Ooh. Northern Hemisphere. I think people are going to go too early and they're going to go like November or something like that. It's number five. What comes next in this list? Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. Oh. Delta. Phonetic alphabet. I think we've got five out of five there. Is that five questions? Yeah, that was oh, five questions. That. We've, we've smashed that today. Good, yeah. good work, Fletch. Thanks for your input. Got the Ghana question wrong. The, the flag is black, not yellow. Did you know it was black? Why didn't you speak up and say black then? We didn't, we still got four out of five, which is a good effort. Have you got on in school today, son? Mm. Uh, English, maths, guided reading. Guided reading. PSHE and art. What are you learning about in PSHE? C, Z. I forgot. I'm such a thorough student. Your cheeks are red. I know. Have you been on, have you been, have you been on the booze? Yeah, but you are a 10 year old boy. He does have big hands. Like he's a 10 year old boy. His hands are like shovels. Thursday mornings in the car. We always have a bit of a laugh, to be fair. got off at Hammersmith, we'd been on a night out and we were very drunk and went into that McDonald's. <laughs> I just got a flashback then and realised it was this place, so fond memories. Oh my god, are you Joe Wood? This is camp, isn't it Joe? So camp, I love it. It's so good. You're working. Really? What have you brought us to? So Joel has brought us to what is supposed to be a Christmas show thing. It's not. They're selling hot tubs and massage chairs and cars and they've just put tinsel on so they're just dressing it up and there's the odd Christmas stand. Um, but Joel's very excited so I'm happy to, happy to spend time with Joel doing things that he likes because that's how relationships work. Are you having a nice time? Yeah. Surprise, I'm the first one to make a purchase. And it, it was a guy, we were once in, it was like a Sunday morning, we were in bed, and I watched this TikTok, it was about three minutes long, and Joe was like, what are you watching? And it was that particular guy doing this particular vegetable shredder and I cannot wait to try it. So the bit downstairs, not particularly busy, the food bit and the booze bit, absolutely rammed. I love that it's full of old women and gay men and the odd brown beaten husband who's been dragged along and everybody's on the piss. We've just finished in the gym. On a scale of dead to alive, where are you? I'm surviving more than you because Keegan's pushing himself really hard at the moment because he's going back to rugby, but I'm, I'm not. <laughs> You're I not. train hard, but yeah. not that hard. Bulgarian split squats. Any, any exercise that has got an Eastern European country in the name <laughs> is unpleasant. Yeah, Polish pistol squats. Uh, Romanian chest presses. Slovakian <laughs> squats. Well, I'm getting the train, leaving you now, Jola. Not who uh, there's too many goodbyes. We'll see you in a week though, what? That's true. Made it back to King's Cross. There's delays on all the trains, so currently 25 minutes delayed. Um, could be worse, uh, but it's very Christmassy. Very, very busy. The ideal home show was a bit naff with Joel. He, um, even he was like, I thought it was gonna be something completely different, but I always love spending time with him. It's been really nice to just do that, go to the gym, have a chat, sitting in the coffee shop, walking around and just spending time together. So. Morning, it is about quarter past six. 
I am on the bike, as you can probably hear. Um, I'm going to do about 40 minutes. I've got a really busy day for next Friday. Um, so I've got to go to Manchester. My dentist, orthodontist, is in Manchester. You actually haven't seen. I'm still having Invisaligns done. I'm, I'm on the refinement bit, which is like the last bit where there's a couple of teeth that are not quite straight yet. Fit like these little bumps on my teeth. And then Invisaligns going in there, kind of just stay in. We've got to be in 22 hours a day. Heads, it's just before nine. I'm heading over to Manchester to get the teeth done, to get the teeth did. Um, so I started having Invisaligns in September 2021 and it was going really well and I went on a holiday in January and the airline lost my bag and it had a set of my Invisaligns in and I had to skip a set and it kind of threw everything out. Then I had some more refinements. They finished in October, just before I went away with Joel to, to Holland. And then they have to re-scan your mouth because your teeth have moved and, and they put little dots fixed to your teeth, they glue them on and then they kind of help the Invisalign hook. I'll show you when they're done. I have, I've been to, I've been on the bike, I've been to the gym. The gym was dead at 7 a.m. I thought it was gonna be really busy, so maybe 7 a.m. is my new gym time. Also, a little hint, if you are looking and thinking about going to the gym and getting started in January, it can be really overwhelming when the gym is busy because there's loads of people there, the machines might be full, the weights area might be full. You don't really know your way around the gym, so you don't know what to do. So I would, something I say to people all the time, especially guys who join the pro, my coaching program at this time of year, I'm like, get in the gym as much as possible now and get familiar with it. Get familiar with the machines, the layout of the gym, where the changing room is, where the water is, what certain machines do. There'll be people who work there who've got more time because there's not people, asking them questions all the time. You don't have to set the world on fire with your training. That was a really good chance for you to get in there. Just because if you feel familiar with it and you feel comfortable with it, you're more likely to stick to it. I've just got out of the dentist. I've got all my next, I've got another, so it was eight lots of Invisaligns, which is eight sets of FI. And they're like clear, it's got my spitting. It's got, they're like clear trays. And if you see them, you probably can't see there, but there's, there's little bumps on a few of my teeth for them to grip onto. So I, they go in, use the column chewies, essentially right down so that they're on properly because if they don't go on properly, they're not gonna move the teeth properly and then the next set won't fit. It is Saturday morning. I've not been able to sleep. Really looking forward to a chilled out weekend. We don't have training this morning. We trained last night. We did an opposed session against Dewsbury, which didn't last too long to be fair. Just being able to play in a match situation. Um, so that's what we were doing last night. I have, however, got some things that I wanna show you this morning. So this is what I got from the Ideal Home Show with Joe. So gonna be slicing and dicing vegetables there with that. They even threw in a free peeler, which can you ever have too many peelers? And I got this now official vlogger this is a, a proper vlogging camera with a tripod and uh, everything so that everything can be better quality and i don't have to use my phone this is the g7x i think mark ii yeah mark ii this is what joel told me to get so i'm going off his expertise with that one keep the box for the warranty and um, incense all the different flavors i know they're not flavors i know you don't eat them but that's what we call them flavors. this one i've not had and this one i've not had these ones are all good sometimes you take a bit of a punt with them but you know um, this is actually a tripod. Uh, it's really good. So obviously it can stand, it can just stand up as a normal tripod, in theory, like that. But you can also use it to grip around and like hold on to lampposts or fences or things like that so that you can, you don't need a big long tripod. So that's really handy. And this is the shredder that I'm super excited to try. You put your veg in there and then you push and it drops through into there. It feels like an apt place to finish this, this next vlog because from now on, I'll be able to use this. So let's see if there's a difference, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Been a bit of an eclectic week. I'm gonna be putting the Christmas tree up this weekend with the kids, the kids are here. So we'll be putting the Christmas tree up. So next vlog, we'll have that in it. So hopefully see you then. Like, subscribe, you watch YouTube, you know what you're doing. Thank you, see you later.